In this video, I'm going to cover a 15 minute farming route in the Grand for mining fell iron, adamantite, eternium, motive earth and fire, and with a chance for uncut gems and motive air for engineers as well. Bear in mind, your results will vary depending on layering, time of day, and of course, your luck. So with that said, let's get to it. Before you start, make sure you have the add-on Nova World Buff Tracker on. You can use this to determine how many layers are active on your server and if any guildies can throw you an invite to help you switch layers if needed. Engineers with a skill of 305 should craft the Zap Throttle Moat Extractor. This allows you to collect moats from clouds that spawned all over Outland. I'll have a video guide for these coming very soon. We're going to be using this to capture any clouds we come across in the ground for moats of air and then convert them to primal air. So kick off the route making your way from the Ring of Trials across Garadar and then head up toward the middle point between the Throne and Laughing Skull Ruins. Move across towards the overcave above Halar. You'll be able to tell if mining veins are present without going inside to save yourself some time. There are also two caves in the route. This one and another one on the other side of Halar, closer to Tilar. You should check these every time, as Corian veins spawn and so does rich adamantite as well. Another thing these caves tell you is how busy the zone might be in terms of farming competition. If you're not getting many veins from the caves, someone else is mining, so bear that in mind. After the first cave, move up towards the path into Zangamarsh, then dip down and around the forge camps. At this point, you can then choose between the main loop route or switching to the alternate path shown in yellow on my map guide. Link will be available in the description and pinned comment as always. I like to do this alternative route every other loop to change things up and try and snag nodes that spawn outside of the core loop to force another one to spawn inside the loop, if that makes any sense. From that point, follow the main loop path across to Halar, then down the valley leading to the second ogre cave and then around to Lar, then back into another valley that snakes up to the ring of trials and then at this point you've reached the end of the loop hopefully with some loot in your bags depending on how it went you might want to change farm locations switch to the alternative path or even layer hop and with that it's the end of the video like and subscribe for more videos follow on twitch to catch me live and hopefully i will see you next time